Hello and welcome to Vietnam, the kingdom of motorbike. It is true that live in Vietnam will change you as you will pick up some habits that make people in your country go crazy. So in today's video, take my hands as I will show you some local Vietnamese custom and Vietnamese cute habits that highlight the beauty of daily life in Vietnam. So let's get moving! Hello, this is Jane from Yung Global's communication team and welcome to our YouTube channel where we'll deliver fun and informative videos regarding how to live, how to do business in Vietnam and also up-to-date news regarding Vietnam as well. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, remember to subscribe to get notification about our videos. Thank you! Now back to our video, as a legend Vietnamese, it is undeniable that Vietnam has its own charm whether it comes from the country or the people itself. So in today's video, we will talk about top 5 cute habits that you will see when you come to Vietnam. Number 1, sidewalk hotska. In Vietnam, we don't take sidewalk for granted. In fact, we take the most out of it. You may think that footpaths, pavements, Trotoars are officially reserved for pedestrians and only for pedestrians to walk. But in reality, Vietnamese people beat traffic by driving on sidewalk. Driving down sidewalks has become a common practice for motorcyclists in Vietnam. We also use walkways as additional space for businesses. Local stores usually use the sidewalks to organize their customer bikes and sidewalks are perfect place for abandoning vehicles and local food stands. You can just simply sit on the sideway and sell anything you like. But on the other hand, all the messy things that you see on the street of Vietnam is actually what makes Vietnam so special. It wouldn't be Vietnam without these images. So have you ever fallen out just walking on these bumpy sidewalks in Vietnam? Please let me know in the comment section below. Number two, queues. No, we Vietnamese because cutting queues is a common thing in Vietnam and although it has been criticized by many experts, it's still a part of daily life in Vietnam. You may have seen it in the hospital, in government offices, in the bus, in the stop, you name it. You will mostly find people cutting lines when you order some food at any street food vendors or coffee stand because if one person skips the queue and it pays off, others will see this person benefit from cutting and do the same thing. However, young generation like myself, we acknowledge the problem and we are trying hard to make things better. So please be patient with us and wait for us a few years. Maybe that's when we give up cutting line. Number three, driving. Vietnam is a never boring, always an adventure country. If you worry about getting hit while you're driving in Vietnam, don't be. No matter how close it seems for a motorbike or a car to get near you and you think that you're going to die, please peace of mind that those vehicles will magically avoid hitting you in the last minutes. That's an incredible gift that God gave to Vietnamese. So do not worry about what or who is behind you. Only worry about who or what is in front of you. And remember to always wear a helmet if you value your friend function. When in Vietnam, drive as Vietnamese do. Number four, re re reconfirmation of meetings. As mentioned in one of our videos, five cultural differences between Vietnam and the US. Business culture shock. If you haven't watched it, please check it out on the link at the top right hand corner. We want to mention it again in this video as one of the key habits of Vietnamese that if you are going to meet with a local Vietnamese, it is important to reconfirm the meeting two times or even three times before the appointment. Otherwise, expect the unexpected cancel at the last minute. Lastly, don't complain. Vietnamese people cannot handle complain. If your Vietnamese girlfriend is cooked for you a meal, say it as if it was the best food you ever taste in your life. Take this into a broader topic. You will often see that even though in the weekend, loud music with singing karaoke is everywhere from the morning until late night, and yet no one in the neighborhood complains about it because once you do, they may become aggressive and violent toward you. So try to avoid saying complain unless it is unavoidable. 
of both of the five cute Vietnamese husbands that I find as a legit Vietnamese person born and raised in Vietnam. But you may get used to this custom, you may not. Most importantly, don't get this makes you misjudge about the country and the people of Vietnam. Vietnam is still a beautiful country and a wonderful place to live and work. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you and I see you in the next video.